perhaps both of the teams we did not expect to get to this point are here. The Dallas Mavericks have advanced beyond the one seed Oklahoma City Thunder. And in very impressive fashion, the Minnesota Timberwolves took down the reigning champion Denver Nuggets to get to the conference finals here. Now, let's get you the preview for this series and who we think will advance and any free picks that we can find along the way. So for starters, huge props go out to, well, both teams for getting to, to this point. Dallas, I mean, you look at Dallas, think about Dallas uh, with two months to go in the season, maybe even, at, uh, maybe even at the trade deadline. This team was maybe even considering their options as far as like if they're going to be able to make the playoffs there. A couple big trades at the trade deadline. P.J. Washington was massive. That's the type of player that Oklahoma City were really lacking in that series. But in the end, I think that's the X factor that pushed Dallas over the line. On the Timberwolves side of things, it could not have been more difficult playing against the reigning champion Denver Nuggets, playing in Denver as well for that Game 7, coming back in incredible fashion in the second half slash fourth quarter. For starters, Pips, just out the gate, do you see a clear edge for any team in this series? I mean, yes. I think uh, this is a great series for the Wolves. They have what it takes to defend the Doncic and Kyrie, while not giving up as much as Denver, not giving as much as Thunder gave, and yeah, not 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 giving as much as Thunder gave to their, their role players. I think I think they can do pretty good job on Kyrie, Doncic and Kyrie, like. They will have higher usage than in previous series, but they will hold them to the somewhat uh, not very efficient scoring night. And they will take away a lot from the role players. So, yeah, I think I think this is a good series for Bull. They have McDaniels to throw on uh, on Luka Doncic for the entire game. They have uh, Edwards some minutes, and then Nick Alexander Walker to throw on, on, on Kyrie Irving. They are good there. When they somehow beat their player and go inside, it, it's Gobert there. And this is a great series for Gobert. Like he's not battling with Jokic and uh, he's now in the help space. And that's where Gobert tries. That's very, very it's a great matchup for Gobert. Also, Dallas have huge issues with size uh, to oh, match yeah. up with the size of the. Yeah, so that that will be interesting. If they put PJ Washington in like somehow like foul trouble, who they are going to put at, at the four without Kleba? So yeah, that's PJ Washington was in foul trouble. I think four out of the seven games in, against the Thunder. So if he's going to be, uh, probably putting him on uh, Towns, and that's that's difficult to stay out of foul trouble. That's very difficult task to stay out of the foul trouble. And if he gets into the foul trouble, then uh, Dallas is very undersized to match this team. And I don't trust in Gafford. I, I don't know if you saw the tweet I made uh, last couple of days ago. It was uh, splits. Uh, game, last game of the series, Lively was plus 22. Gafford was minus 25. Yeah. Every previous game of the series, uh, it was Gafford. Minus 20, Lively plus 16, plus 18, plus, plus 20. I don't trust yeah, Gafford. Yeah, in the series, Lively was plus 71. In the series, Daniel Gafford, as I have here, was minus 58. So, yeah, it, it, it's going to be... And Lively played less minutes. Yeah, it's going to be tough for... It's almost for equally split, but... ...to find a way to play him in this series. Yeah. So, yeah, just... just can't can't really see that can't really see that happening there. I, I just don't know how you can play Gafford too much in this series, especially against the size. As far they, they, as they must play, they must play him. Like they need to have <laughs> Gafford or Lively at forty eight minutes against this team, and yeah, and PJ Washington probably for like forty two minutes, and in the six minutes when they don't have PJ Washington at four, and other team has Nas Reed and Towns or Nas Reed and Gobert. <laughs> good luck, man. Yeah, it will be it will be difficult. I think this is a I think Wolves have a, an edge here on the size, on the matchups, on defense, on 
other side probably like it's Kyrie and Luca and they can always put some crazy performances but uh I mean everything's saying well in this series they're gonna be hounded all series I mean you can clearly see the matchups that are gonna be thrown Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving's way you, you know Luka can still produce Kyrie Irving can still produce but that's gonna be incredibly difficult to do over the course of the entire series on the other also, side it, sorry go ahead go ahead also, I see double teams on both Towns and, and Edwards in the game. From the other side, so it will be McDaniels and Conley making big shots. They're, they'll be put in spots to make big shots. So don't trust McDaniels and trust Conley like I trust Conley. Yeah. On the other side for Anthony Edwards, he's obviously the, the big threat for the Timberwolves as he was in that series against the Denver Nuggets there just wasn't really a ton of answers for him at, for him at times what do you think the Mavericks are gonna have to throw his way to make life more difficult on his side of things because if you can't stop him especially in the fourth quarter this, this series is going to be impossible to win for Dallas yeah they are throwing Derrick Jones at him and I think they are they are, they are going to play Derrick Jones big minutes for because how, how else can they defend like, he had a good series, well, you know, all things considered. He had, a, he had a great series against the, the Thunder in the end, yeah. which is which is massive. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they'll put him in spot to hit shots, and if he is unable to hit a three, he will be played off the court. But that's difficult. Then who is defending Anthony Edwards? You have – it's difficult. Okay, Kyrie defended like crazy in the series against the Thunder. I, I need to give him credit. He was pl huge plus on defensive end. But uh, – they're probably putting Kyrie on Conley and putting Doncic on McDaniels. And yeah, everything else is so they'll hide try to hide them uh, on the on the defensive side. So but doubles on Deadbards and Towns are inevitable in this series. Like that's how Dallas defense and uh, overall for this series, any bets that you see? Because I certainly feel like I'm ready to take a line here, but I, I'll, I'll I'll let you lead off if you have anything betting wise for this series. I'll let you. <laughs> yeah, I I I just I think this is such a horrible matchup for the Dallas Mavericks. I think the Timberwolves are here, ready for the kill. I think the Timberwolves are going to win this series, and I don't think some of the prices kind of do them justice here. I'm not gonna like I I just I'm just. I don't really see where Dallas are going to find their edge to win this series. I just don't see what they're going to find here against this Timberwolves team. The The Wolves right now have everything they need to to win this series and with the just insane size advantage. I'm happy to take Minnesota straight up on the series to win. And minus 165 at ESPN bet is the number one price that I have seen here. And I'm prepared to go for that. Minus 165. And I think that even... Scratching minus 180 it is still a suitable price to take the Minnesota Timberwolves here. Is, is, is there a price for like uh, Wolves in six? I, I can look around uh, for Wolves in six as well. Um, you'll probably get decent because typically sportsbooks favor the teams to yeah. wrap up the series at home. But yeah. I'm I'm completely comfortable going for the Minnesota Timberwolves at minus 165 to win the series as well. Let's shop around. Uh, a, a tad here to see if we can find uh, something for them to the best price on a widely available market to win in six because you know yeah if, if you're favorite to win you might favor them to go in six as well let's have a look uh is, is that your prediction overall wolves in six for this series yeah wolves is, or six is seven of course i mean but uh, if we can take it we probably get a good price for wolves in six so that would be a thing so wolves in six is plus 500 on bet mgm so wolves exactly in six. Oh, you're not saying yeah. in like in, in five you're not saying in five you're saying exactly in six games yeah and that's something that you'd look for yeah that's plus 500 on good price for it i think it it, 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 it can happen high chance for it and plus 500 is decent number for this considering Wolves are minus 185, so they are winning in six or in seven. So yeah, going for them winning in four, uh, in six is plus 500. So 
I don't see correlation. I don't see think wolves can win in four. I don't think they can be. They can win in five, but I don't think so. So wolves in six makes the most sense, and they are getting plus five hundred. All right. So if maybe if, if you feel confident in the wolves here, you can go with my side of it, minus one sixty five for them to win the series. If perhaps you don't favor going with as much juice on your bet. Perhaps another way you want to get involved in the Timberwolves side of this series is going for the Wolves in six exactly, plus 500 at BetMGM. You can find plus 500 or better on that one. Perhaps a good number to look for as well. All right, that will do it for this series preview here. Let us know what you think about this series, how many games you think it will go, who do you think will advance, and any bets you may have along the way as well, especially if you're going to be telling the picks that we have given out on this stream today.